All right, let's get this piece. Let's get this piece, and I think a couple others. This one, that one. We'll try to get all three in this episode, and then we'll figure out how to get the ghost ship piece later. Hold on, I want to get some water. Make sure uh, my throat isn't dry. Alright, so there's a... We have to open the chart though, don't we? Yeah. Easy peasy. We just gotta... Wait. Okay, we're not even there yet. Ooh, Beetle. I actually want to go there. I want to see him real quick. He probably doesn't get any business over here. Let's get more bait. Ooh, a bottle. What the hell? And air. Wait, what the hell? If you have anything you want to sell, show it to me. I'll buy it off you. You don't, uh, wait, what? I'm selling the contents, not the jar. Too bad for you, huh? Yeah, that is really annoying. What the hell? You're just gonna pour your contents into my bottle and then keep your bottle. It's a good thing you don't get no business because you don't have anything, <laughs> anything I want. Why would I want a red potion? Oh wait, isn't this a guy I'm supposed to merchant, right? He's a merchant. I'm I'm supposed to give him the uh it's like a Goron. Can't hide those lips. Let's talk to him first. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manners manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and wooly. I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. I thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most mystic of rare items, the fabled Shop Guru statue. But it seems as though I am off my market again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me a sneaking suspicion that it might have some rare treasure hidden in depths. <laughs> There's like a tear in his uh, little fisher's cap. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you got and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Well, geez, he's just telling me exactly what to do. Huh? That's a town flower, is it not? In that case, would you be so interested in trading it for this sea flower? Sure. Most worthy, then, my fee will be... Well, I suppose 20 rupees will do. Wait, I have to give him money? Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you your item as I promise. Hold out both hands. The scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far away land, far off land. Find a place to put it. Choose your delivery bag on the item screen. Okay. Wait, what's going on? So, by trading your goods for my goods, we've formed a merchant's oath. Why am I spinning? As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the windfall isle shop how you ask why my good pal the postman will take it there for me so it will i'm getting dizzy so it will likely get there before you do just head back to windfall and see for yourself thanks again that was weird 
I don't know about this whole merchant's oath thing. I'm pretty sure you're still taking some of the profits, right? That you... For the items that you sell. Is it like credit? Or is it like just some trust? Special pact. Alright, we close. Oh. So Ganon came here. <clears throat> tore up this place to look for Jaboon, right? And the Triforce, a piece of the Triforce was right there the whole time. What the fuck? Where'd you come from? Oh, shit. What is going on? Is this a glitch? I'm shooting it. Well, that was... <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do. So they put pots there to block you from getting the actual treasure. That's kind of clever. Right. I want to know what it looks like on the depths of the sea floor is, is there just like a bunch of pots surrounding it all right this is it you got a triforce shard now you need only three more We just gotta go south or southeast. Yeah, that's more accurate. Is there anything on this island besides that? It's all messed up, but it looks like I could climb it maybe. Although I doubt it. Wait, what's that? Wait. There is stuff I could do up here, isn't there? Let's see if we could climb. Uh, am I stuck? Let's just get out. It feels like I could... Bucket there. Nothing here for me. Nope. Just looks like something. Wait, there's like a that looks like a cave. I wonder what this was before it got messed up. Can't get on there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I don't think there's anything you can do here. It's all just for show. Not that I was expecting anything. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Is this like a spire? It is. I just looked this up if there's anything to do on here, but I kind of want to find out for myself. Oh, you're just up here. Well, I clearly don't care about you. <laughs> I don't want to do that quest. I 
I feel like I could fly all the way there and try and fly into that cave. But I don't know if I could swim back to the ship. Yeah, let's do it. It's a little stupid, but... I don't just want to leave it. Let's try and fly into the... Right here. What the fuck? That really fuck it. That surprised me. Almost like scared because there's actually something in there. Okay, I guess. Whatever. That was cool. And I'm guessing that's it. But now getting back. Will it be possible? Can we get back? I also wanted to go on top of here too, but... I honestly don't think there's anything up there. I think I did exactly what it wanted me to do. Let's just see if we can get back to the boat. We should make an item that lets you swim for longer. But then it probably would be exploited. Alright, we need to go southeast. Feels good when you um, figure stuff out on your own and not use walkthroughs. Who put that there anyways? Southeast, not southwest. What did it say? I needed three more in order to get a full heart piece. Oh, I just need one more. Maybe I'll get one. I've never collected heart containers in this game. The only game I've really ever done that was Ocarina of Time. And then I think about it, one of the few games that I've ever actually tried to collect stuff was Ocarina of Time. I'd say that game really does make you want to collect, like the sculptulas and the heart pieces and um, find everything. I think because it's more walk oriented I would say I'm less inclined to try and find stuff in this boat than if I were to uh, just walk to it. It just feels more, um, I feel more comfortable with the idea of walking. I don't even like the ocean, honestly. I like it in this game, but the ocean in Actuality like terrifies me. Okay. No. That island. Yeah, and all these creatures you run into when you're on the seas also freaks me out not anymore but you know it used to is it really just beaming like that the triforce piece yeah we are right on it don't even care about these <laughs> ships hitting us Got it. Easy. No 
Well, let's get out of here. Alright, that shouldn't be too hard. Damn, this one was the easiest one of them all. I instantly stopped right where I needed to. East, straight east. I kind of do feel like playing Ocarina of Time now that I'm thinking about it. Um, trying to collect all that stuff. Comment below if you want me to play it. I tried playing it before for the channel because I actually do have an N64. Like, that's one of the few consoles I still own that I can claim is 100% my console. And I do still have uh, my Legend of Zelda copy ever since I was a kid. I had other games too, but they've gotten stolen or lost. I remember I had um, an ex-girlfriend that really wanted to play Paper Mario, and I let her borrow it, and then we broke up, and then I forgot that I let her have it, but I remembered like two weeks later or something, and she didn't want to talk to me. Um, so I called her just to ask for it, and she was very like... Like, I don't want to talk to you or whatever, but um, I was like, I just want my game back, you know, that's a good game. And I feel like she was being very defensive and not wanting to talk to me because I later found out that she sold it. And my a couple other games, I let her borrow like, um, what was it? And these sharks are just circling me. I let her borrow... Uh, Mario 64, some other games that I liked that I wish I didn't let her borrow, but whatever. People always be stealing shit or just selling what they what's not theirs. Okay, so now we need to get the last Triforce piece. I know it needs to be night. I'm gonna look it up. I have time. Let's look this up. Yeah, I think Paper Mario for the N64 goes for quite a bit too. I don't remember. I know the Thousand Year Door is probably the most expensive one. I used to have that, but I sold it. I actually sold that one. Maybe there will be a port soon, or maybe there is a port. Because I do really like that game as well. That is one of my favorite Mario games. There's a lot of games I need to get, but I definitely don't have the money or time to get them, really. Maybe uh, in the future. But yeah, I still have Ocarina of Time. I definitely could play that for the channel if you guys want me to hook up my N64. But I do feel like maybe I shouldn't do the N64. I should probably get the master quest that's for the gamecube because i still have my wii but the resolution would be wouldn't be as good would it i wonder how to get the best resolution would be without emulation i don't think there's any port for the wii u okay anyways um let's see took forever for my internet to load ghost ship wind waker Oh, is it different for the HD one? The ghost ship is a haunted vessel the cruise, that cruises the Wind Waker ocean according to the phases of the moon. Oh wait, there's a, there's a ghost ship chart, isn't there?
No, I don't have it. What is that iron beetle guy? I should go to him, actually. I'll look this up real quick, but first... I want to go to the iron beetle. I'll read this while I'm going there. Because I feel like he has something. I don't know what the iron beetle is. But I don't know, I'm calling him the iron beetle. Alright. Crescent Moon Isle during full moon. Yeah, I think that's where you need to be. Let's go west. Um... I'm probably going to date this episode by saying this, but um, I saw a Nintendo Direct last night, and I saw um, Link's Awakening is coming for the Switch, and that game looks so fucking cute, like, I really want to get that game, but I probably won't. I haven't bought in, like, a game for myself in, like, since the last game I bought for myself was this game, actually. But I would like to get that. I've never beaten Link's Awakening either though, so I do feel like I do need to beat that. But I have it too, actually. I have um, my old Game Boy and the games for it, and that's one of the games, but I've never beaten it. I'm always so bad at um, playing and finishing Game Boy games. The only ones I've really ever done was Pokemon. But that's just because it's Pokemon, you know? Okay, so we're here for a reason. I'm trying to find the beetle guy. Yeah, I feel like I need to beat Link's, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy Color before I get that game, if I even get it. I should. I played um, Link Between Worlds, which was fucking amazing, for the, um, what is it, the DS, 3DS, so I bet I will enjoy it, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I'll ever do that, though, I would like to, but, nah, who knows. I never even play games anymore. This is the first time actually playing a game game in a while. Times have just changed. I don't really have the convenience of doing that. But maybe soon, now that I got, um... YouTube seems to be going okay, not the best, but it's okay. If I can stop getting my videos demonetized, maybe I could make some decent money. <laughs> and buy myself some time. I wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfall's lighthouse went dark. Wait, what? It was quite in it was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way the ray of light shone out like a shaft <laughs> of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Gillian. Anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse it do I need the light arrows? Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition. That's really interesting. I've never done that. I should get the light arrows and remember that. Ooh, is that the shop? Is that the beetle shop? There it is. Stop for me, please. What the hell? Are you not? Oh. It like ran into me. Like it wasn't gonna stop. Alright, let's go. Well, this is just great. I want everything you have. <clears throat> You're so lucky to meet me at this time. The shop will close in just seven more days? I'm having a clearance sale. Are you serious? 
That's not true, right? It wouldn't just close in seven days. All right, we got all four. Thank you so much. I'm happy. Or you're happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. <laughs> yeah, let's just dump all our money. We don't need it anymore. Except for the auction, but whatever. Oh, thank you very much. You're happy. You got nothing now. Seven days. Could I have passed seven days with the Song of Passing? It's interesting. Oh, we got it. What's on this island, anyways? Something I can do. Let's do it. Yeah, um, I do think that is one of my goals, though, actually. To be able to buy myself plenty of time so I can just relax and um, probably just play a bunch of games. A bunch of games that I didn't have time for in the past. A bunch of games that are coming out. I actually want to spend a lot of time playing, like, uh, World of Warcraft Classic. That's coming out in, um... Jesus! <laughs> that is, uh... I should have been dead if Link was in a cartoon. That's coming out, I think, in 2020. I really just want to sink a lot of my time into something like that. I don't know. It just seems fun. But it's definitely... Something I can't do with my current state. But one day... I would like to just waste, I don't know, maybe like a year playing. That'd be fun. That's my goal. <laughs> to figure out how I can make enough money or buy myself enough time to waste my time doing nothing, really. <laughs> Wasted on games. To reach Western Fairy Island Head. What? Why would... Why would I even need to know that? Wait, have I been to West Ferry? I feel like I have. Wait, what is this? What the fuck? Wait. Boop boop. Oh my god. I don't want to get the um, boomerang, but I don't feel like it'll be as effective. Okay, now it's probably effective. Damn, some of them dropping, um, looks like very useful stuff. Yeah, these bats are fucking packing. I feel kind of bad. I mean, they're probably evil bats, but I'm literally just wiping out their entire, like, colony. Their little community that they had going on. But, I mean, they did try to attack me, so... If they just kept asleep, then we could have totally avoided this situation, so... Well, another one of those we don't need. Yeah, there's definitely a fourth bottle we can get. All right. All of these other ones are just the same. Um, we were trying to figure out where the boat is. It's um, Crescent Moon Island during full moon. Oh, there's several. Diamond Steep Isle. When part of the right moon is missing. Bomb Isle. I know that there's like a chart you can just get. The ghost ship haunts several isles of the Great Sea during the night. It appears at different locations depending on the current state of the moon. The ship's doomed to sail the Great Sea until freed from its curse. Only the one holding the ghost ship chart. Yes, hidden on Diamond Steep Isle can enter, so I can't even get in, exactly. 
Diamond Steep Isle. Miruku's Oasis. That's great. Uh, okay, I haven't even found that. Actually, I should probably go west because of what this sign actually told me, which is very useful. To reach Western Fairy Isle, head west. I want to see what that fairy will give me. And then we'll go to Diamond Steep Island. You can enter according to Lenzo, the sailor who made the ghost ship chart was following the vessel across all of its destinations, drawing a map of its movement when the map was done. He suddenly died. Oh my god. What the hell? Where did you, where do you learn about this? In order to free the ship from its course, Link must defeat a wise robe and two pose within. However, the wise robe is able to summon Oh wait, let's get let's get sailing. Is it wise robe or whiz robe? I don't know. Is able to summon Redeads and Stalfos into the battle. After defeating all the enemies, Link will be able to climb up a ladder leading to the treasure chart, which contains... Yes. Oh, it's a treasure chart, but in Wind Waker HD, it's a Triforce shard. After Link clicks Triforce shard hidden within the ghost ship, will stop roaming the seas and disappear entirely. I kind of want to know about Lenzo, though. Who is Lenzo? Ooh, let's go there. Oh, he's Lenzo. Wait, isn't he the Picto guy? Lenzo is a character in The Wind Waker. Oh, wait, where's the fish? Oh, um, look at the time, actually. I should stop. Yeah, we'll continue the next one, and I'll read about Lenzo for anyone who wants to know. Because <laughs> I actually really want to know. This guy is apparently dead. Dead man. We're going to read about a dead man. It's going to be a story time with Miruku. Alright, actually, I'm going to stop now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.